I would like to thank my viewers for helping me to reach 90,000 subscribers and allowing me to make YouTube a full-time job. I only started making daily or almost daily videos in December of 2020, so I am impressed with how fast my channel has grown. Thus, to thank everyone, I will be answering many of your most common personal and geology slash volcano related questions. Let's get started. How did I get into geology? Oh boy, this is an interesting one. I originally got into geology during my time living in Australia. I had always loved the outdoors and had just finished a vacation on an island in the Great Barrier Reef. As I was much younger at the time, my parents then subsequently surprised me by driving for several hours to the absolute middle of nowhere, which happened to be around the town of Emerald. They then took me gem prospecting at a sapphire mine where we found gem-grade sapphires and zircons. I loved that experience so much that geology later became a passion of mine. Which volcano will produce the next VEI-5 eruption, VEI-6 eruption, VEI-7 eruption? Although this is difficult to predict, I will state my choice for each category. For the next VEI-5 eruption, a leading candidate is the Sakurajima volcano in Japan. It hasn't produced a major eruption since 1914 and has been unusually non-explosive since. Local scientists are rather certain that a major explosive eruption will occur from this volcano in the next three decades, but as to when is anybody's guess. For the next VEI-6 or 7 eruption, the most obvious choice is the entire island of Iwo Jima. Unknown to many, the entire island was constructed from a caldera and is a rising resurgent dome. Since 1945, the beaches which marines landed on have been uplifted by 17 meters. This unusual long-term rapid uplift has been ongoing for more than 1,000 years when Iwo Jima was initially two separate islands. It is quite obvious that at some point in the future, the entire island will be annihilated in an eruption similar to the caldera forming Kikai eruption of 4350 BC. Is there a volcano out there which shares a magma chamber with another volcano? Yes. In 1912 when Uvarupta erupted, it caused a caldera collapse at the separate Katmai volcano as they shared the same magma chamber. Other large volcanic systems such as Toba and Cinnabon may share a joint magma chamber, alongside Mammoth Mountain potentially sharing magma from the Lawn Valley caldera in California. How old am I? What are my main interests other than geology? I am 23 years old, about to turn 24. My main interests outside of geology are baseball, making jewelry, and playing competitive first-person shooter games. The most recent game I spent a lot of time on was Overwatch, where I mained Zarya and Anna while also playing some Junkrat. One of my viewers' sons asks why NASA would want to send geologists to the Mars and Moon. The reason behind this is quite simple, exploration and the gaining of knowledge. Ever since the Apollo-era missions, sending a geologist on a small crew has become the norm as it is one of the fields of science with the most to gain from being present. As an example, we used rock samples from the moon to learn how it originally formed when an ancient Mars-sized planet crashed into Earth around 4.5 billion years ago. As for Mars, a lot of questions need to be answered such as why did Mars never develop any plate tectonics? Was life ever on Mars in some shape or form? What caused Mars to become a barren wasteland while Earth became a seeming paradise? Also, since the vast majority of the planet is covered in basaltic lavas, a geologist has a lot to offer. What is my favorite volcanic explosion that I learned about? The Essenberg Mar in remote western Alaska. It's truly difficult to imagine a single volcanic explosion generating an 8 kilometer wide crater. What is my work experience? My main experience is surprisingly not volcano related, but rather finding and locating ore deposits and gemstones. I also have experience with oil rig work. What country's volcanic history interests me the most and why? Italy. Very few nations have had their myths, legends, and histories so dominated by frequent large-scale volcanic eruptions. What's something that a lot of people get wrong when talking about volcanoes? In movie shows, commercials, and TV, people incorrectly assume that a large volcanic eruption is simply an upscaled Strombolian-style eruption with longer-reaching and larger bombs of lava. Most very large eruptions produce a solid gray ash column and many times may not even be visible due to the sheer amount of particulates thrown into the air. As a final note, I want to add that this Q&A video is a sort of experiment. I plan to answer more questions when I reach 100,000 subscribers, such as what my best geology-related experiences were. I hope that you enjoy this video. If you'd like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, if you wish to support this channel, consider becoming a patron on Patreon.